Welcome back to the Olympian with another perfected edition. All right. Now, a lot of you guys made your opinions known and you're saying, listen, Olympian, there's not been enough diversity. All right. What you're putting down in the slums. I'm getting I'm picking it. All right. There's not enough gay guys on your channel. And, you know, we want to include everyone, make sure everybody's comfy. So why don't you kick your feet up and just enjoy this great content. All right. So you already saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Dating gay is tough. It's tough out there for a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Leave no doubt. All right. For the sake of this video, I identify myself as a leprechaun. At the bottom of any pot, there's always gold. We always go for gold, boy. Today, I'm feeling amazing. I'm really excited about this day. I may, you know, find my potential man. My name is Jacob. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I live in Los Angeles. I've never been on a blind date. I've always wanted to go on one. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'm a music artist. I'm an influencer. I'm an actor, and I have a sugar daddy. All right, guys, take notes. Actor, of course. I mean, I would have guessed it when I looked at you. Anyway, yeah, actor, right? Musician of music, of course. And you got a sugar daddy? Shit. You got everything, man. I would say one of the best things I've gotten from my sugar daddy is my Cartier bracelet. I love it. Here it is. Um, and he's given me like over $100,000. Damn, man, the way you flexing on me, man, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you be flexing on me, man. I'm getting jealous, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, your sugar daddy, the best thing that he bought you was a Cardi B bracelet, right? Just hold it up real quick so we can see. Oh, no, man, shit, I didn't want to say anything, want to be a buzzkill. That's some fake shit, man. What are you talking about Cardi B, man? Get that Cardi B bracelet shit out of here, man. That is some fake shit. Man, that's not even a sugar daddy. Man, that's a salty pop, man. Salty pop. You know what I'm saying? You can't be just flexing shit when your salty pop is working minimum wage, man. That makes no sense, all right? Na 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 na, Jacob Sugar Daddy works for the minimum wage. Wah, wah, wah. What I love most about being a sugar baby is being able to get what I want when I want it. Getting the attention. You know, sugar daddies like attention. They like you to, you know, stroke their ego, go to dinner with them, and just spend quality time with them. And I love all of that myself. So if I can get paid to do it, that's a win win, darling. I really hope that he doesn't mind that I have a sugar daddy because he's not going to have a choice. Shots fired, shots fired. I mean, when you're going on a blind date, you already set your, uh, what do you call it, your standards for the date. And this guy, he just says, listen, I don't care who you are, what you do, you're not going to come between me and my sugar daddy. Which I think is strange, right? The chances are almost 100% that his date has more money than his sugar daddy. My name is Jeffrey. My name is Jeff. So I'm 21. I'm an actor and model. When I'm not doing that, I'm a server at the Korean barbecue restaurant. You know what I'm saying? You knew it already. Actor and model. Just an absolute shining beacon to all of humanity. You know what I'm saying? And part time also. I work at my father's restaurant. I write Korean ribs. I write hotter than Kim Jong un. My type is a go getter. Maybe a mom and dad type. The date can really impress me if he walked in here with a gift. Oh my goodness. Damn, man, you spoiled, man. You spoiled too much. You spoiled to the brim. Right? You can't be expecting no gift, especially on a blind date. How does that make any sense? I'm coming to you with my gift, my Cardi B bracelet, just handing you over and shit, talking about I'm so impressed. Like, hell no. If you ain't all that, I'm taking my gift back, bitch. All right? I'm a getter. I'm a go getter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get. Hi. Hi. I'm Jacob. Nice Jacob. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey. Nice to meet you, Jeffrey. How's your day going? Good. How are you? I'm phenomenal. I'm so excited. I was so nervous to meet you, but I was. I feel good now. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. So are you from LA? Pasadena. Oh, Pasadena? Yeah. Okay. I'm originally from Sacramento, but I've been living here for like six years now. So you're dating wise, what do you look for in like, you know, like a date? Um, well, what is your type? Do you have a specific type? Yeah, definitely go getter. Okay. Definitely like someone um, who wants to uh, take care of me. Huh, what? <clears throat> what? What did you say? Like in a tight position <clears throat> with uh, schooling and. Uh, yeah, so of course, Mr. Care Bear over here, Mr. Jeffrey. I mean, I shot myself in the foot with this type of content, man, you know what I'm saying? But in the sake of diversity, I'm gonna give this shit a try, man. I'm gonna get this is so boring, man, Jeffrey. You're so fucking boring, man. Damn. 
All right, man. Let's just let's just move forward and, and let's go to the juicy part. All right, this is what you came here for. It's great content. Hey guys, hey, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, guys. <laughs> All right, it's a good time. It's a good time. Let's let's get it. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna go get her. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, that's what I done, the little dang boy. So let's go on to the good part, so we can go and get. No way. So when you're dating someone, are you okay with them having a sugar daddy? Because I do have one. Yeah. Guys, we have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner, boss. I mean, no shit, puberty face, that you would love somebody that has a sugar daddy, man. You just, you, you, this is a perfect match, man. Man, hands down, truly one of the best shows that I have ever watched in my life, all right? I mean, doesn't get any bigger and better than this, man. This is a match made in the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, you're okay with that? Yeah, I... I know, never knew about all that stuff, but I'm interested in finding out more. But I'm sorry, Jer uh, Jerry. You do not look interested, Jerry, in hearing about this man's story, all right? This, you're an actor, all right? You need to sell it. There needs to be emotion about it, all right? All right, let me give you a test, all right? Someone ate your food at home. You're mad. Go. <laughs> oh, all of you guys ate my food. Now I'm angry. Like, no, jelly beans. Like, what the fuck are you even doing, puberty? Puberty, come on. Listen, this is how you do it, right? You come in, like, let me show you. Let me show you how it's done, right? That's why I'm an actor, a musician, okay? The highest caliber, all right? The Olympian never misses, all right? So, someone took my food. I'm angry. Go. Listen here. Whoever took my food. I said whoever took my food. I will find you. And I will kill you if I find you sitting on the toilet pot. My toilet pot. Sitting my food. I will take your shit and I will place it in your intestine stand till it reach your esophagus and till it reach finally in your room. Let me get him gutter, you son of a bitch. Go by the beach, but that is about it. I've never had any sexual activities with my sugar daddy. I've only seen him once since the pandemic. <laughs> Man, that has to be the worst type of marketing I've ever heard for sugar daddies. Like, listen, if there's any kids watching, all right, stay away from sugar daddies, all right? It's not all about walking on the beaches and shit, getting your toenails done, getting that iPhone and shit, all right? <laughs> all right, just look for no candy, you know what I'm saying? Just stay away from it. Say, yeah, man, stop with your bullshit, all right? Stop with that shit. Oh so literally goodness. we just text on the phone every once in a while we'll call that's literally my relationship that's so sweet you know yeah I, I had a girlfriend in dc and this was during the pandemic and she was doing something similar and i kind of didn't understand it at the time but now i like understood a little bit more of the reasons why right and it makes sense well, it's more so of a <laughs> Stop the cap, man. Stop the cap, man. What kind of bullshit is this? Like, oh, that's so sweet. Wow. What What kind of fool are you, man? And then you're dropping like bars like, yeah, I had a girlfriend once. Can you hear yourself, Jerry? Can you hear yourself? Like, yeah, I had a girlfriend once. Like, uh, yeah, she had a you know, sugar daddy and shit, but I didn't want to get in the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want everybody to be happy. Like, you just want to talk shit so you can be relatable? Like, just don't say you had a, don't say you have a girlfriend, man. God damn it, man. I can't do it. Did you? Anyway, man, it's, it's been a, I mean, it has to be said, you know what I'm saying? Like, go for gold. Um, <sighs> fucking shit just hit plastic. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, leprechaun. Always done diddly do, man. Always coming in with another solid. You know what I'm saying I have to end it here because you know it's it's really just I've been crying my eyes out. You know what I'm saying? But just shout out to the LGBT community doing a big style, doing it for you guys, doing the Rainbow Nation and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So man, yeah, of course. Next video we're gonna look at Jacob. Um, he says he's got a YouTube channel and all that good stuff, all right? He's gonna be showing us how to get sugar daddies, all right? So, I mean, it's exciting stuff, right? I mean, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger and better, you know what I'm saying, than getting the sugar daddy. Pay for your shit walking on the beaches, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like for the beaches, you know what I'm saying? Leave a, a subscribe 
for the motherfucking toenails, you know what I'm saying, like, and we got everything, you know what I'm saying, like, next video, we're gonna watch him out, check him out, what he's all about, you know what I'm saying, like, Jeffrey just fucking killing my vibe, man, he's killing Jacob's vi uh, vibe as well, man, you know what I'm saying, like, vibing, vibing, shit, but yeah, like I said, man, like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully, the next one won't be this fucking shit, alright, we go for gold, but this shit just hit plastic.